Welcome to Microfocus. This video describes different options and features of Identity Manager Dashboard. Identity Manager Dashboard serves as the primary entry portal to the identity applications. Dashboard can have one or many widgets that can help you with quick information about a particular activity. Identity Manager Dashboard offers targeted views based on the access and permission of a logged in user. For example, to view people and administration tabs and the options they provide, you must be a provisioning administrator, a role or resource administrator, or a security administrator. Dashboard Identity Manager automatically provisions you to use widgets on your dashboard based on your access permissions. Widgets are actually dashboard objects designed to provide specific details of your activities. For example, the task widget provides details about new tasks, claimed tasks, or the tasks that are expected to expire shortly. Similarly, you can configure new widgets on your dashboard. Application The application page lists all the applications that are provisioned for you. It provides links to several areas of identity applications to assist you perform basic tasks without navigating deep into these applications or permissions. For example, the My Access style directly takes you to the permissions page which lists all the permissions assigned to you. The application page is set up by your identity administrator. The page includes the tiles that link to the commonly requested resources or applications that are regularly accessed by the users. To add an application to this page, click Manage Applications and click the plus icon in the Applications panel. Select the category in which you want to add an application. Specify the name and description. Selecting an image is optional. Specify the application link to which the tile should connect to and click Add. To add a permission to this page, click the plus icon in the Permissions panel. Search for the permission that you want to add onto the Applications tab. Select the category in which you want to add a permission and click Add. Some of the tiles on this page might appear only for users with an administrative role in the identity applications. For example, a user who can create or modify roles should see a tile similar to Create User and Manage Roles. By default, Help Desk Ticket appears on the Applications page for all the users. This option allows you to raise a ticket to your Help Desk. Tasks the Tasks page shows all your tasks that are pending for an action. With an appropriate role, you can view tasks of others. For example, a team manager can view tasks of his reportees. You can use the Tasks page to filter the tasks that are expiring within a certain period. Select Filter. Specify the period in weeks, days or hours. For example, let's filter the tasks that are expiring within 6 days. Specify the task status and click Filter. <clears throat> if you are responsible for approving or denying requested permissions in Identity Manager, you can use this page to manage your tasks. You can approve or deny requests one at a time or you can approve or deny multiple simple requests that do not require detailed information. Apart from approval or denial of requests, you might need to determine the approver for some task requests. In such situations, you can Claim a request. You can claim a task. The claimed task is only listed in your Self tab. Approving or denying of the claimed task request entirely lies with you. Other users cannot act on this request as it is claimed by you. If you do not want to restrict the task to yourself, you can release it and allow other users to act on this task. Reassign a request. Normally, this action assigns the request to your manager. 
However, the behavior may allow you to execute this action differently. An administrator can reassign the task to any user in the organization. To view the summary of this task flow, click the comments icon. If the task is reassigned to a wrong user, the user can return that task request. Access. This page allows you to view permissions or request permissions. You can request roles, resources or provisioning request definition in the request page. To view the status of the request, see the request history page. With appropriate administrator access, you can check the request history of other users. This option also lets you to set proxy where other users can act on your tasks. In addition, you can revoke permissions for other users. For example, an administrator can revoke permissions for any user in the system. You can also add permissions to a queue that you want to revoke and review in the future. A team manager can revoke permissions from the team members if access is provided. To learn about the features and options provided by the people and administration tabs, watch the next part of this video. Thank you for watching this video.